Welcome everyone. I am here with Peter Schink and we have some exciting news for you. So we'll give you just a minute to jump on here. And all right, Peter, what are we're talking about the Creationis Miracles Arca Archa? So this is a beautiful creation that you and I have been together on since the beginning, and it's just amazing, right? So <laughs> you know, the last three or four shows that we've done, uh, we've always kind of alluded to mm -hmm. what the product is. And today we'll, we're gonna share all of the information from the beginning idea through the creation process uh, to, you know, the, the, the product which will which be ready to go um, towards the end of the week here. We're just having the, the web stuff um, put together. And so the story kind of goes, I was doing a show with Christy somewhere in the, October time frame, and she had mentioned a box, and I kind of paused for a second. And I was like, I was in in my mind, um, I don't co-create anything with anybody, never, except way back in the early days of Jason, uh, we co-created a lot of things together, and I, and when I paused for a second, uh, my mind started racing ahead as a solo act. I said, no, 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 no it came out of her so we're going to co-create it and 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 that just started you know this this amazing adventure to create this creation box which has you know uh, a beautiful logo on top never before symbols all the way around which have true names of meanings for creation and then inside the box on the very bottom you're going to put an extremely potent silica quarter inch glass plate with a laser engraved sacred geometry in there okay it's a little hard to see here but there'll be some beautiful pictures of it on the website and this is laser engraved folks right in the middle of it okay it's not on the edge on the top or the bottom it's literally in the middle of it and it just gives it the most beautiful vibe and this sits on the bottom of the box. So a little bit about the creation process. So, you know, I have a, a fairly extensive uh, manufacturing network in place for other products that I create. So it wasn't much of a stretch to start utilizing uh, some of these manufacturers to create this. So the initial thought was, okay, we're going to do 50 of these and 50 or 100 so we, so we decided on a price point and we're like okay well we have to keep the price point at a certain amount and you know as things started adding up the price point was was slipping a little bit and then we kind of bring it back into alignment and then we figure maybe we could do like an upgrade to it which i i have never done before uh, I, I've upgraded totally new products to something different, but never offered an upgrade to an existing product. And you know that that takes the the logistics of trying to bring something to market in, in complicated times too, because now you know some people can't decide. And it, it does does the upgrade negate the power of the box? Does it make it more powerful? And why wouldn't you just offer with it? So oddly enough, what happened was. When we, went, when we went to get the order of the initial boxes, they had actually doubled it. And they came back and they said, look, you know, we have two times your initial order here. And, you know, we don't want them. Do you want them? And I said, yeah, I'll take them at a steep discount. And we did. And what that allowed us to do was actually bring down the price of the product within, you know, a, a comfort zone where we can still you know, bring these to market um, at a reasonable price to you. And, you know, so that was one of it. And, and, and you know, go ahead, Christine, talk about some of the synchronicities that happened when we were <laughs> developing this product. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So we started out, like Peter said, I did a show and I, I actually showed where I was using, it was the Terra Resonator XL box. It was a big wooden box and I had taped on it love and prayers. And that's when he, the light bulb went off for him. And cause I was like, this is what I'm using it for. But I knew 
that there were other symbols that and other you know things that that made up miracles because we were talking about what are answered prayers they're miracles right and so the um the first symbol that you're going to see like on the front of the box he's showing them there so the first symbol right there is that is love at the highest level that was the first thing that came to mind i came up with the love at the highest level peter got that true symbol that true this is what he he actually created and, and received from you know that information in to create the symbol so the second one that came in was faith you know so that was the second component so that's this one uh faith so that came in as as number two the number the second component in miracles and so then i said okay so what was number three and so like i said peter drew out all of these and uh so the third one that i came up with was gratitude okay so gratitude came up and so that's the one that he he drew on that one and so and then the last one was blessings so that was that's that symbol right there so and they were actually i was guided to put them on a certain place on the box too as to which side to put them on so that all just kind of worked out peter was like i can draw these up and uh and you know and again he, he drew them up on a napkin or something and he, he texted them to me and and i tested them and so i've checked everything every step of the way we've just been guided every step of the way and like i said we were going to put like a card in the bottom of the box and put another something on top of that and, and it all just came together to put it all in one and have it like he said, it's, it's, it's very smooth on both sides. The, the symbol is inside the, the crystal here. And so this is inside. And, and I actually looked through many, many symbols to find this one. And this symbol is Metatron's cube with the seed of life in there, plus the heptagon. So, and these really create that uh, like with Metatron's cube, you know, it's that field of the infinite all. And the seed of life, of course, is that symbol of creation. And then Heptagon really brings in those infinite possibilities too. So it's a combination of different sacred geometries in one symbol here. And it goes in the bottom of the box. And it really, it, it, what I, I did first was I put, I just started with just something really simple. I got like, it's a quartz, it's a rose quartz crystal and i put it in the box that was the first thing that i i tested on it and put it in there and and we put 33 hours i think because you know that 33 number that's that miracle number and so really within 33 hours it infuses and it really brings things to the and has that vibration of miracles and so it brings in all these symbols plus the sacred geometry brings it all together. I put this necklace in there in less than 24 hours. It was vibrating at the vibration of miracles. And it's, and it stayed that way for, I had someone else that, that actually did the same thing and theirs stayed for, I tested like five days. And then after that, it went down just a tad, but they put it back in there, recharged it back up and it's back at a hundred percent. So it was like I said, that vibration of a hundred percent in crystals. And then like I said, just to put it back in there, just to kind of give it that extra little boost after you know a day or two or a few days, you can do that. But what I loved about the box was it's six by six and then three inches deep. So you can put so many things in here. I've put, I've put my uh, picture with my name on it, put that in there. I have intentions, I've got family members' names. That's the good thing about it is, you can use it for many things at the same time. Whatever you put in here is going to vibrate with the, that and have that vibration of miracles. And so that's what I love about it is that you can use it for not only yourself, but also to write other names, put it on there or put it in there. And then if they might, you can close the lid. No one has to know what's in there. <laughs> and it's a beautiful piece of art. Yeah. There, there's something I really want to point out, which came to light. Uh -huh. about 15 minutes ago so typically when when um you know products are created they have a, a representation of past present and future typically it's ancient knowledge 
put together in a state-of-the-art metallurgy or fabrication processes with a futuristic design. And I have to say that this is the, the, the first product that actually does not cross those three boundaries. The box itself is made out of walnut with, with um, you know, gold, gold. It, it's, they're, they're laser engraved carvings and then they're, they're, they're painted gold. But it stops at the ancient part. Okay, it is, yes, it is put together with, um, you know, with today's processes, but it stops at the ancient part. And there is, there's a, 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 a have you ever like just walked up to and, and like sat under a really old tree, like an old oak tree, or mm -hmm. entered into a dwelling that's, you know, three or 400 years old? You kind of get that tingle of uh you know authenticity that just kind of runs through your body or or how old old it is this the creation box is the same thing it's, it doesn't smell moldy of course but it's, it smells new but, <laughs> but it has it has a, 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 a an ancient vibration to it not mm -hmm. it, it, it's a it's a high vibration it's very hard to distinguish you know what i'm talking about sacred. it's very hard sacred it's sacred. a sacred container it's that ancient sacred container yes exactly and you know uh <laughs> so this is the obviously this is the first product that i've ever co-created with a female and it's been uh it's been very interesting blending uh, and meshing both kind of um, creative styles into it, but I, I got to be honest, it was it was far easier than I could have I could have ever imagined. I know. I was like, oh my goodness, where's my Peter Sheen? Do I really want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, dude, of course. And so, uh, so, but it's been great. I mean, we have every step of the way, every decision we've made together. And we've really, there's been no one way or the other. It's, we're both like something would come up and we're both like, yeah, you know, let's do it. And it's like, we just, we just knew that it was, it, it because it, it, it's, it wanted to be the way that it turned out to be. That's oh, the main yeah, yeah. thing. We both knew it. And yes, we use walnut. I chose, you know, I actually checked the woods and, and Peter and I looked through all the woods and went through each of them. And we're like, we both decided on walnut. We're like, yes, you know, and then the, the, we were just going to have the laser engraved um, symbols on it. And then it was like, but it really needs something else. What is that? And we were like, you know, and then they gave us the option of the, the, we could fill it with paint. And we're like, it's gotta be gold paint. And you know, and because it, it, these things hold those vibrations too. And so the whole box just vibrates and then you put the thing, the crystal inside of it. Oh my goodness. And then, I mean, I've got people saying that it's amazing. They just couldn't stop smiling. That was one of the first, and that was just the first impression. And that's not even counting the testimonial that she's going to leave on the, on your website in the next day or two. But you know, she's noticed, she's, she's noticed changes with relationships uh and everything that she's put in there so far she has tested that it, it has improved but she's not only tested that but she's noticing that things are improving very quickly just in a week things have improved and then i've got someone that sent in to me uh because i saved these but um and they're going to do testimonials on the the thing too but the first these are just first impressions i felt like an opening lightness in the air like everything could be possible. And then we've got, um, the other one was, uh, they felt a difference after the first day and that things haven't been able, that think that they haven't been able to move past in years or shifting already. So that was just a, some of the first impressions just after even a day, you know, and then like I said, and then now a week or so, and it's just amazing. So what, let's kind of go over, you know, some of the use case scenarios. Why, why would somebody want this? Well, the thing is, is that it, it really does provide, you know, some people question, you know, am, do I really have that, that faith, that trust? Am I really, you know, do I really have that love in me to, you know, to receive? Do I, you know, 
Um, and the other one was, you know, the gratitude. It's like, you know, sometimes we're, we are grateful for things, but then they start questioning, is it real gratitude or is it, am I just being grateful because, you know, I know it's going to, it's going to help to do that. But these, it provides that because these are sacred symbols and they, you know, they, it, it just, when you're at that vibration, it's already within you and it just helps it to come out even more. So you attract these things, you, you know, it's just, but miracles happen anyway. So it's not a matter of, and that was the, the other thing that I was kind of getting at yesterday when I was talking with someone was, um, you know, it's like, you know, it's not like you're forcing it. It's you're putting it out there and just saying, okay, I'm leaving the how and the when and the where and the why just leaving that up to receiving the miracle. So it takes that guesswork that am I doing this right? Am I doing this? You, you know, you're going to receive a, a miracles are like I said, it's going to have, you've got that love, that faith, that gratitude, that those blessings. And these are like answered prayers. And so that they happen anyway. It, but it's like, you're just kind of putting a, a magnet on anything that you're putting in there, you know, and, and like I said, these symbols are, and the, the intention, because we talked about conscious creation, what, how, why was it created? What well, was created with the intention of receiving, but creating, because that's the creationist, creating miracles. So it's attracting, you know, those miracles to happen. And it really, like I said, it's taken a lot of the guesswork. Am I doing this right? You know, kind of out of it and just receiving, you know, and it's, it's as easy as that. So it's making things easier, but we both knew people deserve miracles. I believe truly miracles change people's lives for the better. So why not bring that in and say, okay, yes, I can do this and this and this to better myself, you know, and this and that. But the miracle itself, when that happens, that changes your life. That changes your perspective, your beliefs. That changes so much. So why not work from that angle too? You know what I mean? And so that's that's what I loved about it because I think everyone deserves miracles. I mean, I, I, I mean that's just me. I, I've been working with this and I, I just... I resonated so much with miracles because I, I truly believe in them and that everyone is deserving and worthy. And because it was created with that intention, I mean, that just puts even more um, magic behind it, if you will, you know? So I've, I've always kind of looked at it like, um, you know, people like to create these own personal shrines. I, a lot of people have done, videos of product testimonies of stuff that I put out in the world, you know, put them together kind of like uh, like a little supercomputer, you know, all the pieces fit together and they make these nice little geometric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, um, in, in my head, you know, I, I was like seeing kind of like, you know, uh, like a sixth century monk walking up to you know, some type of like altar and all these candles and crystals and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what? I like, guess too complicated. Let's just do a box, you know? And in the, the energy that was captured in that scene that played out in my head over and over and over is what we brought to bear in, in, the, in the creationist box. And, you know, it, it just, it has a serious, serious old world, power emulating from it and you know you because you can't get it out of your head it does it's not it's not like a smelly old moldy whatever found in your foot locker it's it's just this old it, beautiful powerhouse and you know uh you know you've learned tips and tricks from bringing things into fruition if you want to use it from that angle on how to write your intentions mm -hmm. you can you know you know, people, you know, people like write on pictures and they, they put them on candles in a, in a church or in altars and things like that. That That's why this guy is perfect. Now, one thing I do want to point out, the interior dimensions of the box are six inches. The interior dimensions are six inches by six inches by three. Mm -hmm. But you lose a quarter of an inch when you place the um, the silica yeah, laser. 
So the interior then becomes 2.75 inches, and it's still a very massive, deep box. You can put a lot of things in there. And, you know, based on our testing, and we do have, I don't know, uh, a few of these in the wild, and people will be leaving some testimonials over the next few days before we do the launch on the website. Typical MDM style, you know, shock and awe. And, you know, they're, they're, it's creating magic in their lives. And, you know, like other products, these are going to sell extremely fast. And, you know, we haven't determined if this is going to be a limited production run yet, or maybe this is, you know, the beginning of the stepping stone for another co-creation process down the road. Mm -hmm. I'm not limiting ourselves to anything. Yeah. And if anyone has any questions, put them in the comments. But I do want to mention a few things, just some ideas of what you can put in this box, okay? So because it, it, it is deeper, you know, and, and you can, like I said, close the lid, put whatever you want in there. Uh, jewelry is a good thing. Uh, crystals. He talked about crystals. Uh, you can put, you know, like little tea light candles or even candles up to like two, two and a half inches. You can put the Orion in there. Yes. Someone's been putting their uh, I am pyramids in there. Let's really? Yes. Yes. And uh, talked to someone this morning about that. Yep. Any product that will fit in there, you can put it in there. Uh, you can name different names. You can write down pe other people's names with, you know, something for them to receive. So many things can be put in here with many different intentions. And it's all going to really rise up to that vibration of miracles. Um, like I said, crystals, uh, the little, uh, candles, if you want to put those in there and then take them out after, you know, a day or so and, and light them up somewhere. And, and then they're going to just really send out that energy of miracles. Um, and like I said, the I am pyramids, really any of Peter's products that are smaller, put them in there. Um, other things that I had thought of was, like I said, pictures. Um, you know, write down just someone's name and, you know, I put down a list of my family's names and put on their healing miracles and just left it at that. As simple as that healing miracles, because, you know, for some family members that I don't work on, you know, individually, I just wanted, you know, to put that in there for them just to receive whatever was best for them. You know, I just left it open healing miracles because, you know, that can be in many different ways, just whatever was best for them. And, like I said, you can anything uh, like if you're giving away a gift or something, and it's, it's a small gift, whether it be jewelry, whether it be a watch, whether it be um, anything, you know, whatever it is, you know, you can put it in the box, little figurines or something. I was talking to someone uh, yesterday about her daughters and she said that they don't really wear jewelry. So they're going to get like some of their little figurines that they have in their room and put them in there and then. Um, and then put them back in the room. So it's going to have you know, that energy of miracles in there. So there's so many different ways to use these and, uh, and this. And like I said, and because it's closed and it's really one of your only products that you have that actually you can just uh, put something in there and close the lid. No one has to know what's on it or in it or whatever, you know. Um, you know, like with the tarot resonators, you know, you put stuff on top of it and people can see what you got on there. But if you want something that is very private for you and no, you know, for no one else to see, put it in the box and just close the lid and put it away somewhere. Christy, let's talk about some of the, the testing that you've personally done with light scores before and after. Not not with the creation of the box itself, but just products that you tested as we were developing. Yeah. It. Okay, for example, this uh, this necklace. Before I put it in there, I asked like, cause I always, you know, I, I do my best just to kind of uh, raise the frequency and vibration of things. So I asked what the frequency was of this as far as, or the vibration of it for miracles before I put it in the box. And that was at, let's see, I tested two different ways. That was at a, um, it was, it was around 3%. Okay. And another way I tested it, it when I asked about the the frequency and the vibration was a little bit different, but it was it was a very low number. Let's just say five or under. Um, after being in there less than 24 hours, it was up to 100 percent holding that vibration. And the so other, 
it went up 95, 97 percent in oh, yeah. 24 or 33 hours. That's insane. Absolutely. And not just for me. I had someone else do the same thing. They said the same thing. Um, the other thing is what I have noticed in the past couple of weeks is so much is changing because I have a lot of stuff in here for myself, a lot of intentions. And what I've noticed for me is that um, one thing is I put in here, you know, obviously for um, my healing sessions and, and, you know, that part of what I do is um, someone that I had not, I, I did the Angel Alchemy Academy um, a couple of years ago, several years ago, and was certified there. And I, after I finished and completed the course, I actually have my, my picture and my bio and, and for sessions on their website, but they've had several courses since then. So other people have their names on there. So mine's like more towards the bottom and hadn't heard from them in like two years, almost two years. I actually had two new clients from that website this week alone, this past week that I had, I have not heard from them or received a client or a, a lead or anything from them in the past, uh, like I said, almost two year and a half or so, two years almost. And like I said, two in, in less than a week. I had one uh, yesterday and then one at uh, the end of last week. And so that was just something that came up out of the blue. And and then the other thing I noticed was there's some things, just a little, a few little shifts and changes I, I wanted to make with a certain levels I've been working with. Um, it really brought up for me to, uh, to heal like memories that I don't know. It just came up out of, I don't know. It just came up and I was like, okay, that's interesting. I hadn't really thought of, you know, of course with cellular memories and things like that, but I didn't think about healing like all memories, you know, any that, you know, would, would be beneficial to heal. And I've actually done that this past week. And it's, it's been, I've just felt such a relief with that. And that's happened just in this past week. So that was, I mean, that you can consider that because it was, it took me just a second to, to set that emotion. And it just went very fast. And once I did that, I activated that. Oh, and the other thing, this is very interesting. It came up yesterday. Anyone that activates the box receives some kind of activation or attunement for receiving miracles. That came up. We tested for that yesterday. Uh, a friend of mine, because uh, I knew we were going to do this video today, so I was like, you know, I was asking her about it, and we were working together. And I knew that I already had this activation and attunement from like a year or so ago. But anyone that activates this, if it is for their highest and best good, they receive that activation, that attunement for receiving miracles. It just happens automatically when you activate the box. How cool is that? <laughs> I mean, seriously. And I actually talked to someone this morning that, that is one of the ones that's been testing the box and she actually, uh, we both checked and she did receive the attunement from, from working with the box. So, so yeah, so that's, you know, that's how it's, how it's working for me. That's what I've noticed so far. So I've used it in a couple different ways and one i wrote yeah, I'm gonna show the box again while you're talking because someone was asking i wrote something personal that i wanted to happen but i did it i didn't follow a set of rules that i would have applied to say something like the tr line or even the aquaware or the software line and i just wrote it you know on a napkin like i write everything on a napkin and you know, it's been in the box since uh, we got the first prototypes a couple weeks ago, and it's it's happening. I mean, in real time, it's happening before you, and it's absolutely amazing the way it, you know, just 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 starts to un, unfold. And and this is completely, you know, new territory for me. I mean, I've never created per se a creation box. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, putting it in there you can feel the vibration completely change from the box now now you can feel that kind of ancient power just flow right out of it now imagine putting something in there you want to raise the vibration of or have bring in the fruition or change and boom there it is now she's just installed the nuclear reactor so we're good to go <laughs> And what I, you know, you just hold your left hand over and say, I honor the space in which you exist. That's it. That's all. As easy as that. 
So, like I said, I'm looking. Okay, so someone asked if I'd show it. I did that. So I was just looking to see if there were any other. Okay, someone's saying they're curious. They'll come back and watch later. <laughs> so, yes, and and like I said, it's really believing, you know, being open to receiving and and but it, and knowing that miracles happen anyway. If it's a if a miracle is going to happen, it's going to happen. But it's like just noticing what you notice. Because like I said, someone's noticing that their relationship with with someone is changing just from a week of putting that in there to have a harmonious and loving relationship with someone. They've noticed that change. And like I said, and, and when you're carrying around the vibration, especially if your picture and your name's in there, that's going to do it too. But if you have, you know, a necklace or you want to put a crystal in your pocket or the Orion, put that in your pocket, you know, it really does help to, like I said, it carries that that vibration of miracles, no matter what you put in there. And it can be, and get creative, because there's so many more things. I'm sure people can find so many other other things to do with it too. You know, what if you put in there, like if you had a little jar of hand cream or something like that. I mean, there's another one, you know, and you could, you know, put it on you and wear it around with you after you've left it in there, you know. That's another thing. So, I mean, this is a this is a bold new step with a new product, new design team. <laughs> yeah, you had to kind of go out. You had to find a you know some 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 new people, some of the same people that you've worked with, but then um, you know other things. Mm -hmm. And um, so the the creation miracle arch arch box will be ready to go probably by the weekend um where it's just being put together now and uh you know i'm excited i mean i've never never co-created something as beautiful as this with somebody before this is the first time i've ever worked with female energy to create so it's again, awesome isn't it <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny. Uh, someone's wanting to know how it's different from the tarot resonator okay so what i noticed because i have um what's the best way to activate the box just hold your left hand over it and say i honor the space in which you exist that's it very easy so as far as it being different from the tarot resonator what I like about it, I, I love the Terra Resonators, by the way, because I, I have those. I use those all the time. But what I like about this is that you can put so many different things and, and it can you can stack them and just there's no I mean, so much can fit into a six by six space that's, you know, almost three inches, you know, with the glass or with the crystal in it, almost three inches deep. So it, it is without the, the crystal. But that it's it's private too. So like if you wanted to put something in there and put it in a, a even you know put something in there, you don't even have to leave it sitting out somewhere. You can put it in a drawer. You can put it in a cabinet. You can put it somewhere. You know, no one has to to see what's in it. And plus, it's it's very you know safe and secure in here. Um, but it just has that old world style to it. It has an ancient type of feel to it plus it, it just it's a different frequency you know it's a different vibration but it you know they both can obviously you know um you can create miracles with both of them but what i loved about this though is that it actually has those vibrations those symbols already on it for miracles specifically and like I said, we can put many different things for many different people and things and objects and, and intentions and pictures and all kinds of things in there. So that's what I liked about it is that I could put stuff in there and close the lid. You know, that's that's the main difference there. But they, they just they work in, in different ways, but they can also work together. Just like could you imagine putting this on top of a terror resonator? You know? <laughs> Someone just mentioned that they, they were going to put pictures of them and their kids in, in in the creation box and put that on top of the TRXL. There you go. See? Is that in here? I didn't see that yet. I'll start to dematerialize. See? I already did. I had, I had already thought about that, too. And we had talked about putting the, 
the modern day mystic, other modern day mystic products that would fit in there, put them inside of there. Like the I am pyramids will fit in there perfectly. The um, the bracelet, the you know the Orion, all those will fit in there. And the uh, the the HFA, the travel will actually fit in there. I'm not sure about the uh, the plus. You know, have you, to you know what I um, wanted to mention quickly too was the aesthetics and the design um aspect that we came up with you remember like so before we knew it was going to be a box we didn't know what, what it was going to be or anything but then we started talking about you know creating upgrades for it and what was going to go you know in there <laughs> and we started talking like like crystals right like moldavite yeah you know? and it not, nothing it, it just none of it rang true i mean we were going through different types of stones and gemstones in our heads and maybe like make like a little niche on the bottom of the box to put them in and um it just it just never rang you know true but then when i i, I don't know i think you, you, it was a week before a day before you you had mentioned in one of your texts to me about you know laser engraving with something completely different and I was like, wow, I was like, maybe we could do laser engraving in silica, you know, and still get that nice vibration in there, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So I, that's another point I want to be clear with. The, the, the quality of the quartz silica that comes with this box is, is amazing, but it's not, and I want to repeat, okay, this is very important, these two different products, it's not in the same league as the quality that comes with the Terra Resonators. It doesn't need to be. The Terra Resonators are a whole different animal altogether. And what they needed was um, very expensive. This is an excellent quality glass silica, which is still quartz crystal. It is lab grown, but it's not the same quality that you would see in the TR. It need to be because it's got the symbol infused into it or, you know, engraved inside of it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that's, and that's two different, it's just two different things. But, uh, but yeah, you can combine this with, with the other things too. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All the, all the products, all the MDM products play nice, nice with each other. Um, you know, yeah. and, and this one will be absolutely no different. And, and when he gets it on the website, we, I mean, it's got extensive information on each of the symbols, on each of the sacred geometries that are combined together there. And uh, it's just, got, it's got all the information there and just some different, uh, so, and also we put on there, uh, but you could actually put, you know, your lottery tickets in there. I mean, if it's, you know, that's, that's another, just an idea um notes you know just written intentions jewelry crystals newspaper magazine clippings uh photographs you know you could and you can fold things up if you have a bigger piece of paper you can obviously fold it up and put it in there if it's a bigger piece of paper than the box so that can be done too absolutely absolutely oh, yeah. all right so, we, again we will be launching this towards the end of the week um we do have uh, a fairly good amount of them in stock, but I, uh, you know, predict that we'll run out. Sure. Yeah, I've had many people messaging me saying, "When's it coming? When's it coming?" So I know that uh, someone's saying, "When will it go on the market on Friday?" So, so typically, um, what we'll do is uh, I'll probably do a quick video. With Christy a day before it comes out just announcing the launch properly and then 24 hours later it'll come out and that could be Friday Saturday and or Sunday so um, uh, everything's pretty much ready to go or just um, just have my web folks putting together a web page for us and um, uh, you know when when, they, when we fire out that email um, it's off to the races yep yep so we will definitely let you know exactly what day that will be and okay so karen we're gonna we'll uh post that as soon as the link is ready but it'll be on uh moderndaymystic.com so he will um we'll do a post about it on all of all of our pages 
Uh, if you're on the email list, you'll receive an email. And so it, you'll, you'll definitely know about it and I'll, I'll let you know <laughs> for sure. So I even worked up and, and did a video and posted it on our page list. Excellent, um, excellent video. If you haven't watched so it. I took, uh, I took those pictures and, and did all kinds of, used all different kinds of apps and, and created that. And so it was pretty cool. It was a fun process for me too, but it really put, I could really feel all of it coming together when I did that video though. It really did. Uh, I don't know. It just all came together, I guess, because I, I focused on each picture, you know, chose them, took the pictures and actually worked around them. And so it's, it's got, and like the, every, every step of the way I have just, you know, envisioned those miracles. And I looked up so many pictures of miracles and freedom and all kinds of things, healing and, and just really, just by, like I said, working on it with these intentions, it's it's in the product. You know, that's it was that conscious creation to be that way. So um, pricing is something we never mentioned prior to a launch because pricing can change literally up until a launch. So um, it'll be in line with expectations of everything we do. So yeah, and the highest quality of of you know materials that we use too. So. So it's all there, but it's great. And like I said, just you can go back and watch the video just, and and just check in with yourself, you know, and just feel that energy of I it. Mean, I mean, it's it's very, like I said, it is a sacred container. I mean, that's what that uh, Creationis Miracles Arca Arch. It's a, it's a you know creating miracles, but it's a sacred container. So definitely that ancient old world style to it too. Absolutely. So, all right. Anything. Else? Thank you, uh, Clara, and everybody else that's joining us and live and on the replay. So stay tuned. Like I said, it should be by the end of the week. We'll let you know and have it up and running and you know, get started. <laughs> get started on your, your own miracles. And, you know, and, and like I said, the intention is, is out there. It's out there with the, the beginning of creation with these all the way until i mean it just stays there the entire time so and like i said you do attested that you you know with activating the box you know you there's activations for yourself and attunements that that are received to do with miracles so that that was something a little unexpected that i wasn't sure would actually happen by activating the box but i'm getting that it, it'll now happen when when you activate the box that's pretty cool to receive that even for yourself so so yeah, so um, is that it, Peter? Is that it for today? That's it. All right, thank you all for joining us. And we will let you know, be in touch, definitely by, we'll let you know something by Friday if it's not already up by then. So, and Valentine's Day is this week too. So, you know, treat yourself to uh, to some love there. <laughs> and uh, I actually, <laughs> I actually, <laughs> Yeah, I actually did a little, I'm going to post it. It's, it's, it's like the box is open and it's got these hearts coming out of it. So I'm going to post that this week for Valentine's Day. So it's a neat little thing that I, I did there. So, and thank you all. We will see you all again soon and share this out. Let the friends know this is coming. And I think it's something that, that anyone, cause it's, it's, it is not a, it's not a masculine or a feminine box. It just, it just is. And, and it's, it's, you know, you're going to be amazed by it. Um, yeah, definitely. So we'll have some testimonials up in the next day or two. So look out for those. There'll be just a few because we just had a select few that had uh, were chosen and, and volunteered to, to do this. And so looking forward to hearing about those and, and also your stories and, and your experiences when you get yours. So, Definitely look forward to that. So thank you all for joining us. Thanks. Bye.